Why, hello, I'm Barry with Empty Hammock. If you're new here, I'm building this here solarium for my wife because I love her. I got the stairs in yesterday. They're over top of the pipes that cool the floor. The stairs can be disconnected easily and pulled out so I can get to the pipes. Opposite the solarium is the sunroom. The next step here is adding electricity, getting all the wiring done, but I can't do any of that until I clean up the floor because, yeah, I can't even get to the walls. We're going to be getting a split system heating unit like we have in the main part of our house installed right here. This piece of sheetrock I went ahead and put up because I'm, I'm hoping to have the guy come in and install that this week. I could do this myself, but you know what? I'll just let a professional do it. It's okay. The solarium is going to be doing most of the heating, uh, but we still want to be able to control it if it does get too cold. I don't want plants to die if we have a foot and a half of snow for a week or so. Um, so that's why we're getting the the heating and cooling system put in just in case. This particular wall is part of the old house as it is like we bought it. It used to be a covered porch and then somebody boxed it in, created a room, and then I covered the entire thing with a new roof and this is just what's left. It is not even close to square. Uh, whoever built this, uh, it's about four or five inches off kilter. That's one thing that I'm going to be fixing, making that flat. So that when you walk from the main part of the house into this room, this wall is actually flat. Because right now it's, it's very obviously canted. And uh, I don't like it, so I'm going to fix it. This wall is kind of the same way. It's actually bowed really badly. Again, this is original exterior of the house. You can tell by the, the makeup of the lumber. And this section is actually part of the house that I had to lift up off the ground and put a foundation underneath because it didn't have anything. That was a really fun process. I use fun loosely. I built a structure and pushed the ceiling up holding the entire structure up in the air. Then I came along with a chainsaw and cut the bottom half of the house off, built the foundation, put in the block, and then set the house back down. So uh, now it's good and secure, but it's still crooked. I've already run the main circuits to the breaker box inside the house. I did not film that because I don't film inside my house. I do have a private life, thank you very much. Um, this area, I thought it would be kind of fun, since I have to build this wall out anyway to make it flat, to put in a, a cased-in bookshelf inside where this old window used to be. That way, you know, wife can put little knickknacks and stuff there. Look, new toys. And even though we still have not insulated yet, we still have a few gaps and cracks around the windows and doors and stuff, the temperature in here is still very much improved from outside. Once the sun comes out, we're really starting to feel that heat. It can be 60 degrees inside and 25 or 30 outside, and it's not even insulated yet. So, very, very promising. Okay, no more talking. Get to work. There we are. I know it doesn't look like much on the video, but this is now a flat plane all the way across. These are just scraps that I had, um, probably from the building out the forms for the footers. Next up is this terribly crooked wall. Well, it done got dark outside, but I'm done with this wall. That is absolutely ridiculous. You can see just how far off that wall was. 
I knew it was a little bit off. I was not expecting that. And it's kind of messing with my head. Like, it still looks off, but it's not because I put a string across it and it's nice and flat now. Next up is electric. I'd like to not have to use drop lights in here. That would be nice. That is all of the rough end done. All the wires are in place for the entire area. All I have to do now is get all of the connections inside the boxes done. Uh, the inspector in this area wants to see how I connect everything. So I'll get that taken care of. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get the inspection because of the holidays. Uh, I'm going to have to wait until next week, but it is what it is. After all of the connections are done and it's inspected, I'll be able to insulate it, which is... Uh, going to be pretty awesome. Right here by the door, uh, I surface mounted the wires because I didn't want to cut into the structure, the beam holding up the roof. I'm going to have to build this out and then cover this whole thing with a sheet of metal uh, because I'm, I'm going to end up with less than an inch and a half to the uh, surface. And I want to protect the wires also, it's code. So this is going to be a little bit more fabrication here than I was originally intending on but it's how it has to be. Hello, woman. On a random side note, we had a friend that needed to get rid of some birds. Uh, we got three guinea hens and five or six more muscovies. I've never had guineas before, they're really fun. I'm gonna fill their pond up now that it's above freezing outside. I have temporarily put the LED can lights, which doesn't use a can anymore. It's kind of a cool new thing. Anyway, I've temporarily installed them and uh, got all of the electrical done, hooked up to the panel and ready to flip the switch. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 